So this is kind of different here. I'm at New Day Farms in Raymond, Ohio to deliver these eggs. And I've always known that delivering eggs is, uh, you know, they're really, they're really uh, strict about the sanitary issues and going through like a mild, a mild wash. But they gave me a steering wheel sanitizer wipe and little booties. Pretty much what you're gonna do is once he gets all out of the way I'll get in here and get this set up okay um, when you get up here when you pull in the first part it's gonna start spraying a chassis wash okay. like you would in a car wash going through with the car yeah do about five six mile an hour down that blue gantry that's moving back and forth will be stationary and the light will be green okay so when it you nose into it watch for that green light to turn red as soon as it turns red stop it goes to yellow okay. back up a little bit until it turns red again okay and as soon as you stop and it hits red hit your air brakes I know and I'll start the process it'll go down three times back up three times then it'll go to a flash of green okay when it goes to flash of green that's your cue to pull out and it'll spray its sanitation mist over the truck as you're driving through it okay can't really see but once he gets out you you might be able to kind of half-ass tell the drive will go down like this and back around there'll be a little building right of a tree and you'll go between it and the yellow ones that set the other direction okay there's two docks down there there's already a truck in the dock waiting they don't start until about seven okay yeah I saw the truck in the dock when I came in here so okay. uh, you'll set off to the side because we have shuttles going in and out of right there where the office is mm -hmm. there's three lights where the office is right stay away from that side of the building okay and that that opening between the dock and that other little garage over there yeah there's a concrete plant yeah stay away from that you can actually when you pull down the drive you can actually park off to the right we, we have a daybreak uh just a tractor sitting there oh okay um you can set off to that side okay. and walk up to the office. And the office is where those three lights are. Oh yeah, I see them there. The yeah. Little building I was talking about straight ahead of you. Right. I can see the truck sitting facing. You see the that little opening on the right of it? That's where the drive is. You can actually pull. Once you get in that drive, you can pull straight up, and stuff can still get past you. Closer towards the uh, dock, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. if where the drive is I see where that truck is turning right there. yeah he's turning right he's going behind the building. okay okay so if you go down in between that building that's ahead of you yeah and the yellow ones that set this way there's a gap in between it okay if you just pull straight up as far as you can go and set there you'll be out of the way where our shuttle buses can still get in that garage okay until that guy gets out of the dock and then okay and then back in after he's out yeah all right that'll or, work or walk up. Don't look like they got another trailer down there in the other dock. They may unload you in it. Normally they only use one dock. Okay. So I'm not sure. Do I need to check in somewhere when you, I go down there? When you go in, go into the office. And you'll okay. have to have those on your shoes anytime you're out of your truck down there. All right. Sounds good. So just pull straight on in slowly so they can do the undercarriage. Yeah, and then Let me go punch this in and I'll give you the thumbs up when I'm ready for you to come through. All right. I appreciate it. All right. So there, there you have it. But yeah, we have these little sanitation wipes they give us to wipe down the steering wheel with. These booties right here. Let's roll my window up. Interesting. here until this light turns red.
get a truck washed out of the deal, I guess. Really thorough for uh, for an egg farm like this. I've, like I said, I've never I've never had this treatment at an egg farm before. I've always owned, I've, I've just gone through a little a little sanitation barn. That's like the length of the tractor with a puddle of water, basically that you drive through. But I never have understood why you have to do this at egg farms. If anybody understands why, let me know. So I found out why you gotta sanitize your truck at an egg farm. It all makes sense now. It all makes perfect sense. Bird flu. I don't I, I don't even remember the last time I heard of a case of bird flu. Um and I believe that's an airborne disease. So I don't know what washing the truck necessarily does still. But at least I have an answer. At least I have something, so. Back to the original scheduled programming. Because I have no idea. I don't know what the point is. I don't know why. You know, of all the places that you go to, why is it an egg farm that they're so strict about making sure you're sanitary? And then especially when you once you drive out of here, you know, you're driving through a gravel parking lot. Just I don't know. I I really have no idea what the point is. But I get to wear I get to wear these on my on my shoes though. That's gonna be that's gonna be fun. And I guess I've never been anywhere that gives you sanitation wipes. Whoop, my truck's gonna shut off. <laughs> I've never been anywhere that gives you sanitation wipes to wipe down your steering wheel. They might as well put us in white hazmat suits. I think we had Ebola or something. And it's coming back. At least I got a free detailing wipe out of this. It saves my arm roll wipes. Here we go for round two. God, wouldn't that suck if I just forgot to put the window up all the way? Well, once I'm done here, I'm going home. Let's see, just gonna wipe down my dash a little bit here. Eh, why not? <laughs> so, it's hilarious. I'm sorry, but it's funny. Get my little buttons, get those all nice and clean while I sit here. Yep, wipe down my uh, dash here. Alrighty, alrighty, get it looking all dirty. Like I said, man, I like to uh, I like to clean my interior a couple times a week. So hey, why not do that with the wipe they gave me? Whoop, there we go again. kind of cool. Alright, we should be going for round three here. Round three, finishing. Well, I was disappointed. Alright, I guess we'll see you on the other side. Um, I wasn't even planning on making any kind of a video today. I really had no, nothing going on, no content. But I showed up here and it was so confusing. There were no instructions and there was no nothing to tell me what I had to do. And I'm like, okay, I gotta videotape this because there's, there's, I didn't know what to do. It was, this one was completely new to me. So I figured, hey, what the heck? Let's go ahead. This is something worthwhile to show some of the people out there that, uh, you know, I've never been in a truck before. Just, I don't know, just kind of, just kind of, first time I've even dealt with this. And I've been driving 10 years. This is the first time I've ever seen anything quite this elaborate before, uh, just for a uh, delivery. So, hope I remember what he was saying. Said something about going up there and going between the yellow buildings and parking as far in as I can and not parking on the concrete. 
parking away from the garage. There were so many instructions, so many, so many details I had to take in. I'm, I'm just a dumb truck driver that just woke up. So, yeah. But hey, at least I remember though. I gotta wear these things before I go in. I gotta wear these so I can walk through the gravel parking lot in these, and then go inside after wearing these in a muddy, dirty gravel parking lot. I go inside. I don't. I don't understand. I don't. That's what I don't. It'd be one thing if you know you put them on when you got inside. It'd be one thing if like I. I, I just don't understand what the point is of cleaning the truck only to drive through a dirt parking lot. And then I don't understand the point in wearing these only to walk through a muddy parking lot. It just, I don't, I don't know. But we're almost done. All right, there's my three greens. Thank you for the free truck wash. Appreciate it. All right. Now, let's just see if I can figure this out. All right, so I had to put this hoodie on because it got really cold. Uh, I woke up this morning at five this morning and it was 58 degrees and it's eight o'clock in the morning now and it's, it's dropped down to 37. So that just kind of shows the storm that we're supposed to get. We're supposed to get about 12 inches of snow uh, between uh, this afternoon and tomorrow morning. And then some ice on top of that. Uh, and so it's obviously going to get really cold again. So winter is not over. It just begun. Um, it was, you know, last night I stopped in Brookville, PA to take a shower. And it was almost uh, 60 degrees. So I put on shorts and a t-shirt when I got out of that shower. And, you know, and now I'm freezing my ass off. So I threw my hoodie on. But uh, it's getting windy out there, and it's just a mess raining right now. I really hope I can get home, though, before before it gets so cold that all this rain turns in to ice on the roadways. Because I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still an hour and a half from the house. So, or, or an hour, at least, from the yard. So, you know, this could turn into ice if it gets much colder. It's windy, so it should blow some of the water off the roadways, but... It's still risky so hopefully we'll get home but anyways guys i hope you're gonna get home and see your family this weekend um you know and if not i hope you guys get home soon but uh regardless if you're out here or if you're anywhere stay safe out there and we will talk to you guys later